Scammers have entered nearly everyone's life in some way, shape or form and lately they have been on the increase. Today I'm going to share with you my latest experiences with scammers on Messenger even though this applies equally well to any other format including email or over the phone. The purpose of this video is to help you spot a scammer of virtually any sort before they get to your heart or money. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Sulovic. I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Starting around February of this year, being 2023, I started receiving messages from strangers on Messenger and mostly women, though some were from men. After dealing with dozens of them daily and thankfully, now I'm only receiving 10 to 20 per day whereas before I was receiving easily 100 to 200 daily. I want to share with you some ways these people try to scam you so you can now be on the lookout for them and block them as the need arises. Firstly, some experiences to share with you. A woman messages me on messenger and says hi. I look at her profile. It states she joined the US military only the previous month and she is 30 years old. I thought, okay, a bit of a late bloomer to join the forces, yet see what she has to say as I was unaware of the scamming going on until soon after. So I asked her three times about her previous jobs to which each time she ignored. Upon the next and final time I reworded it, she came back with an answer of okay. This to me was a sign she had no idea what I was saying and didn't know English so the chances of her being employed by the defense force was a big fat zero. So I realized she was a scammer and blocked her. About two days later, she, under a different name and different pictures, messages me again. Her profile was virtually blank. Within I'd say 5 to 10 minutes, she was asking for money for sex. I told her I was happily married etc and she had no issue at all about that and said how she can be a side chick. I think she was using a translator software package as her English was better this time and she was taking her time to reply. So I again reported and blocked her. And again, like 2 to 3 days later, again under a different name, there she was messaging me. This time I just reported and blocked her. There was a guy who sent me a message asking if I had heard of some grant or something like that. I answered yes as by this stage I had been approached by so many scammers I knew what I was dealing with. I said I saw my name on the list and I had been waiting for them to contact me. He said I have a form to fill in online. He sent me some questions which was his version of a form. Asked for my name, I wrote, I am. Next was the basic stuff like address and the like. When it asked for the state that I live in, I replied with happy. Towards the end, it asked for a copy of my ID, so I went online and downloaded a blurry and illegible copy of the driver's license and uploaded it. I kid you not, I was instantly approved. Folks, if you are answering questions like happy for an emotional state and not a physical location, and upload an illegible license, you know this has to be a scam. I had a woman ask to be my girlfriend within 15 minutes of messaging me knowing full well I am married. When asked how she thinks my wife will feel, she said, she'll have no problems as I'm only your girlfriend. Women like this who have zero morals are purely there to suck money out of you. There was a woman who approached me asking for money because she was robbed, her car had broken down and she was in the middle of nowhere. To my amazement, she still had a mobile phone with internet connection to contact me from the 8 billion people on the planet asking for money to help her out. Clearly, had she been robbed, her mobile phone would have usually been one of the first things to be taken. Additionally, she would have called a tow truck company or roadside assistance. Had a person asked me for my cash app details. This app is not big in Australia so few if anyone has a cash app account here. So I said to this person, I only accept bank check. You clearly have my name, address and other details. They said they can as the bank is closed. I said, tomorrow then as I only accept payment via bank check. They suggested PayPal. I again stated bank check only. Eventually they gave up. Big sign of a scammer, using Cash App as a way to get my details. So, I've compiled a list of things to be on the lookout to know if you're dealing with a potential scammer. If you find yourself doing any of these things, you may want to change them. Most of the below relate to Facebook and Messenger. If a female has a male name, this is a sign she created a profile quickly, didn't do much research and was in a hurry to get back into the scamming scene and doesn't know English very well. Do you really trust a woman by the name of Richard, for example? Check if the account they have is new and sometimes it will even show up as new. New accounts are often the result of having been recently blocked. Anyone who has been on Facebook for any reasonable amount of time will not have a new account. 
Maybe it's the Facebook of your 12, 13, 14 year old kids and not your 20 to 40 year old adults. Check their profile which shows their interests, date of birth and the like. Scammers who have been blocked open up new accounts quickly and fill in the minimum amount of information just so they can get back into the scamming scene. Again, people who have been on Facebook for years will have posts, friends, likes, etc. on their profile and not empty slots in each section of their profile. Anyone who approaches you with a single hello or hello dear or hello handsome. Considering I am married, my wife surely would not like another woman calling me dear or handsome. For those that simply write hi are usually too lazy to write my name and say hi Ernie. Anyone who has proper communication skills will start with hi Ernie and not simply with a hi or hello. If they cannot communicate properly now, just imagine in 5 years where you'll be as a couple. A strong sign of a scammer is them going through a long list of people copying and then pasting just to see who they get a bite from. When they ask where I am from when clearly it is on my profile showing they have not even bothered to get to know me properly by looking at who I am before contacting me. A true sign of a scammer and them being lazy. I have received numerous calls on messenger by strangers who didn't ask me for permission and have woken me up because it was like 3am in Sydney purely because they were too lazy to look at my profile. I have now come to the point where I turn off all notifications when I go to bed so as to not be disturbed by these scammers. How many of these scammers say they were born and live in the US or the UK and upon speaking with them, their grammar is that of a 4 year old, clearly showing they are lying and hence are more than likely scammers. If they start talking with you, then go quiet and then come back to continue talking with you without saying why they went quiet. This is a sign they are talking to too many people at the same time and can't keep up and is a sign of them being a scammer trying to scam anyone and everyone who communicates with them. Oh I love this one. When they write to you and within 5 minutes, start with the guilt trip of why you are not replying. These scammers as mentioned before are in a hurry to get through as many people as possible to scam them. Anyone who you do not know and starts trying on a guilt trip is probably a scammer. No one is attracted to an impatient, uncontrollable person, and some have had the audacity to say that them being ignored hurt them. When you tell someone you are married and not interested and yet they continue by asking questions or talking about themselves. Other scams that I have encountered and you can tell by their initial message are PCH, Public Clearing House, Bitcoin, Cash App, anything regarding improving your finances, anything to do with a potential relative with the same surname as yours, scams via email or the phone, PayPal, IRS or tax fraud, Norton or antivirus, lottery big wins, sending parcels with huge amounts of remaining money from a past deal, online casinos, Medicare. The best thing to do with all these scams is to block them immediately and report them. With phone and email scams, mention to them, I will read it when you send the information to my home address. When they ask for your home address, say, you guys are supposed to have that already. How quickly they hang up when one persists. Having fun for a short time with one to two scammers can be fun yet gets awfully draining when you start receiving 100 or more per day. Hence in summary, I trust you have learned some valuable insights into how dumb scammers really are. They lack people skills, are impatient, do not have your other information one would expect to be able to deliver the information to you in other ways and lack basic manners and respect. Calling someone by their first name is something I'm not even supposed to mention, yet I can say with certainty that about 98% of the scammers who have approached me on messenger have not called me by name. I no longer give anyone chances on that app. If I didn't ask them to contact me, they immediately get blocked. The number of people who have lost thousands of dollars to romance scammers or other scams amazes me because there is so much information about them out there. I ask you to share this video with anyone you think could gain some insight into how scammers work to potentially save them their whole life savings. Ok, that is it for this lesson. I trust you have enjoyed this video. To ensure you keep getting more great quality information, click on one of the other videos at the end here. Or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Cause for Women, or Awaken Her Passion, A Cause for Men. I go into more detail with this information in them. 
you receive a full 30-day money-back guarantee and get to listen to two-thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. Or if you prefer for now to watch some shorter videos and still get great quality content, like how to affair-proof your relationship or how to know your relationship is in trouble and the like, click on the videos you see on your screen now. I trust to see you in our undergraduate Facebook group.